What's going on guys? Today we are inside of Affinity Designer V2 and in today's tutorial we are going to take a very quick look around the workspace for any of you guys that may be brand new to Designer. So when you first open up Affinity Designer and you set up your project then you will be presented with this workspace window in front of us where you can see that we have all of our tools over here on the left hand side as well as our studio panels over to the right hand side and this can look a little bit overwhelming for any of you guys that have never used this before however it really isn't as complicated as it looks so if we just start off in the middle here this is going to be your workspace area or your canvas and this is where we're going to start creating your design then over to the right hand side of that we have our studio panels and as you can see we can select any of these and we have many different panels that we can choose from and these are just a handful of studio panels that are available inside of Affinity Designer but what you will find is that most of the time you don't need all of these so if you find that you've got a studio panel in here that you don't want to use then all we've got to do is simply select that one and just start dragging that out over to the canvas area go ahead and let that go and then you can see we've got this little x right there if we go ahead and we select that that will get rid of that studio panel and then we can just start making our way around this and remove the ones that we don't want once again click on that x however if you find that you don't have a studio panel in here that you do need or you accidentally removed one then all we got to do to bring that back is make our way up to the top left hand side toolbar menu to where it says window then down in here you can see that we have access to all the studio panels and all we've got to do is select the one that we want to use and now you can see that's been dropped onto our canvas so all we've got to do is select that and just drag that back over and just let that snap any way you would like to place it and now it's embedded over on the right hand side or alternatively you can drag that back out and you can move it into another position if you like maybe up here as well as nesting it over here on the right hand side we can also drag that back out and we can go and nest it over to the left hand side just by simply dragging that over till we get that big blue rectangle up here and go ahead and just drop that in so now we can have studio panels on both the left and the right hand side and depending on the screen size that you guys are using if you're on a laptop then you may want to start getting rid of some of these as it will take up most of your screen so if you do want to get rid of that just simply drag it out to the canvas area and just click on your little x to close the window so most of these studio panels are going to need their own tutorial to talk you through some of the settings that we have inside of here so this really is just a quick overview of the workspace and what you have inside of here and I will make separate tutorials to cover all of this layer section down here where we have the effects and the masking and the warp but for now I'll just continue with this tutorial so now we've covered our studio panels over on the right hand side and how we can add and remove those if we make our way over to the left hand side this is where we're going to find all of the individual tools that we can use inside of our project to start making our design and some of these tools look a little bit more complicated than others whereas some seem quite self-explanatory such as a text tool that we have down here or maybe some of these shape building tools that we have available or even the move tool at the top where we can go ahead and start moving around our objects however we will talk about all of these individual tools in their own tutorials and i'll show you in more detail of what we do with these however one thing that i do want to mention is that when we select certain tools on here then we'll also have this additional context menu appear on the top here and that's going to change depending on the type of tool that we are using and we'll talk about the context menu bar when i go ahead and create all of the individual tutorials on the tools so i can go ahead and cover all of the individual settings but for now if we just look above the context menu bar we have our regular menu bar and inside of here we have all of these different buttons which will become active once we start selecting various tools or creating objects on our canvas but one thing that I do want to mention is that if any of you guys are familiar with Affinity Photo then we can switch our persona just up here at the moment we are in the designer persona and we can go ahead and change this to pixel persona and what this is going to do is kind of give us a mini version of Affinity Photo where we can come in here and start editing our images just to make them look a little bit more creative however this persona is going to be in a future tutorial where we've got a bit more time to talk about that 
We also have a couple of options up here inside of our text menu and our layer menu where we can change certain things. However, that is going to be dependent on the tool that we are using at the time and that will be covered in future tutorials also. So that is my quick overview of the workspace inside of Affinity Designer. So hopefully you guys have a rough idea of what all the individual sections are used for. And of course, I will go ahead and talk about all of these individual buttons in future tutorials, as well as down here, we'll talk about our layer effects and creating masks for our objects, as well as a character and paragraph sections when we go ahead and create some text. But that is all I'm going to cover in today's tutorial and I will see you in the next one.